Hey everybody, this is Captain Kyle. I'm here at the New Jersey Horror Con with Perry Shen, a very talented actor, voice actor, entertainer. How are you enjoying the con? Uh, it's been great, meeting a lot of different people and uh, fans from a lot of different projects, so it's been fun to kind of guess what they're into <laughs> that I've done. Very cool. And you probably noticed that some of the people walking around today weren't dressed normally. They were kind of like in some kind of costume. What do you think of these cosplayers? Uh, I'm actually kind of... I'm My background comes from comics, so I've gone to a lot of comic cons, so this is kind of uh, an old hat for me, and uh, being in a horror genre, it just makes sense, you know, so it's, I, I really don't do a double take. I kind of really, um, like, I wasn't even a big fan of horror, but then once I started doing the Hatchet movies, I took an appreciation of the prosthetics and making gore look real, you know, um, with practical effects, so I really have an appreciation when I th see something really well done. It's, it's like like looking at artwork to me. That's very true, and I'm sure they appreciate that recognition. Now, if you were at a con, since you have a comic book background, what would you cosplay if you were going to come to a con and cosplay? I am kind of low-key, so I do stuff that's... I like to find items of clothing that are, like, hard to find. Like, uh, like even it was a hat that had, like, embroidered stitching of a logo of a superhero that I like, you know, that no one would... And, and people would be like, oh, where'd you get that? As opposed to wearing full out garb, you know? Over or actually, you know what? One time I did something that was unconventional where I it was more not cosplay, but it was more for Halloween, which is cosplaying for that whole, you know, everybody's doing it for the day. But I did do a Tony Stark when he had um, he was in his undershirt and he hadn't had his Iron Man costume fit fitted out yet, so he just had that glowing thing on his chest and then he had wires and he had just his gauntlet. And I did that because that was like Unique, and it wasn't you know something that anyone could do. So I did that. I could actually see you kind of have the Tony Stark look. Yeah, I had. I just marketed in my what goatee I do have, and <laughs> and uh, yeah, and it was Tony. Very cool. When you said you were kind of low key, I'm thinking you're going to cosplay Loki. Oh yeah, that is not low key with the <laughs> <laughs> horns. Low key is not very low key. Yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> and it'd be very top heavy. I'd be like. <laughs> So you've voiced a number of characters. Which character have you had the most fun voicing that you get to say things that you're like, oh, that is really cool to say? Um, Probably Takeda, which is from Mortal Kombat. Um, this guy right here. Uh, he, he was He's kind of a wise ass. And for the first time, usually I'm asked to put on a certain tone of voice. But this one, they, they I guess the people knew who I was as an actor or uh, as a person. And they're like, I, I just love, we just want your voice. We're looking for your voice, but just, he's, he's, he's kind of a wise ass. So I kind of like, in my mind had like um, Spider-Man, you know, when he's fighting and just having like little quips and stuff like that. So that's what Takeda kind of does, you know. He has a wise ass mouth and he knows he's good and, you know, he's good in a fight. So, um, yeah, that's what kind of what I went in doing. That sounds like a lot of fun, yeah. It's great to have fun with a character. Now, in your live action roles, what was the character that really you had the most fun playing? Um, the the Hatchet movies have been great. I didn't been in this horror movie franchise since uh, two thousand five is when we shot it. Two thousand seven is when it came out, so it's been like twelve years and. Um, I, I get to play because my character keeps dying and keeps coming back, so I get to play essentially different characters, right? Uh, so that's just been a fun journey. That is awesome to hear. Anything new that you're working on that you can share with us? I just shot a movie a couple weeks, a couple months ago, uh, with uh, um, uh, Bria Grant, who is um, on Heroes and uh, Dexter, and she co wrote this movie called Death of a Thousand Madelines. And uh, husband and wife team and we create a time machine and there's like a looping problem and she goes to the future comes back but then the next day another one of her comes back and then we realize we did something wrong and we have to it becomes a horror movie at that point we gotta eliminate these extra madelines so that we don't draw attention until we can figure out to, the, what to solve the looping problem kind of like the prestige so now you have like a container full of bodies 
Pretty much, but we don't keep the containers. We we uh, we dispose of them. <laughs> so, is it a disposal? Do you find that a challenge after a while? Uh, yeah. It, it, I mean, that's where the the the. the the drama comes in, you know, and, and, and the conflict of, like, growing tired of doing this, and is it more morally and ethically right? Is it suicide? Is it homicide? Exactly. <laughs> Sounds like a very cool movie. Now, where can people follow you on social media so they can hear about when it's coming out and all that stuff? Uh, my name, Perry Shen, P-A-R-R-Y-S-H-E-N, and, and on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. We will put links down there for people who can't spell. Awesome, thank you. Because usually people spell it P E R R Y, and that that's not me. So <laughs> you different, different Perry entirely. Exactly, he's an asshole. That that guy. Yeah. So we have three very invasive questions for you. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. First question: Going on a picnic. What is your go-to picnic food? Going on a picnic. What's my picnic food? Uh, cucumber sandwiches. Cucumber sandwiches. That's almost a pickle. Um, yeah, but it's not fermented, though. Yeah. So, are you a? Uh, do you have dietary inclinations for vegetarianism, or is it just you like cucumbers? No, I like a uh, high tea, and cucumber sandwiches are kind of like a nice, clean uh, thing. That also, if the sun's out, it will, won't like meats will start to like fester, and so it's kind of I think. It'll keep it cool as a cucumber, you know? You put far more thought into this question than most people do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, it's important. I got to eat this, right? Very true. Okay, if your life had a theme song, what would it be? <sighs> if I had a theme song for my life, it would be uh, probably the theme song from The Greatest American Hero. Uh, the Believe It or Not, uh, I'm Walking on Air, because sometimes I, I it's... I do stuff, and I'm on a project, and I'm, I'm like, I can't believe I get to do this, and I get paid to do this. And, uh, you know, sometimes I'll be driving to set and be yelling at the top of my lungs, especially when I started out, and it was really exciting, going, yes, yes, I can't believe I'm doing this. So, yeah. All right, and since this is probably an easy question, because you probably thought about it a million times as someone with a comic book background, but if you could have a superpower, what superpower would you have? This is a tough one because I flip flop a lot on this one. Um, flying it would always be be great. Um, um, invisibility is another good one, but I think s I keep falling back on uh, super speed, like Flash or Quicksilver. Um, just be able to multitask, and you know sometimes you want to be in two places at one time, and. You can if you're fast enough and, um, and, 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 and see things coming and, and make adjustments quickly. So super speed. But the reason why I sometimes back away from that is that I, I'm practical. I think of the ramifications that like I'd be burning a lot of calories. I'd be half to eating all the freaking time, you know, and just consuming a lot of food to, you know, not wither away, you know. So flying is tough because i would always have to wear like a winter jacket because once you're up there and flying it's, it's freezing so and goggles exactly yeah exactly your eyes are dry out so i mean i i think practically and in super speed you know probably have, have to wear soles that are made out of like kevlar or something like that even the air friction could cause you know your yeah. you to heat up shoot that's not good either then and you don't want to be, and you don't want to be Quicksilver from like the Avengers, because yeah, he wasn't fast enough, <laughs> apparently. The way he catches bullets is way different than the way the Flash or the other Quicksilver does. Exactly, he can't even vibrate himself so that they just phase through him. So yeah, huh? Oh, damn it, maybe invisibility, pro maybe invisibility, because then I just would have to take off my clothes and be okay, right? Unless your power, you had an invisibility field that would project a little bit outside of your body so that it could, you wouldn't necessarily have to be naked. Because that could be awkward. That, yeah, yeah. Probably, that'd be nice. Especially if you're invisible going through a crowd and you're naked and people are like, I just felt something against my leg and I don't like that. Yeah, this is Perry, the invisible guy. <laughs> they, they know me. My reputation precedes me. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll say invisibility, but... You can wear something. Okay, I'll take that. All right, anything you want to say to your fans before we uh, wrap up? 
Um, thanks for um, if you've enjoyed anything that I've done and it's uh, moved you in terms of laughter or sadness or anything like that. It's it's and taking your mind off of things, off of the daily life and the grind. Um, I it, I'm honored. That is awesome to hear. Thank you so much, Perry. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And as always, have fun and cosplay on. Hi. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and share. And we love to read your comments. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon to get notifications of our new videos. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the con floor.